Well, hello and welcome back to Brizzy. My name is JP and today we're talking about mixing different content within the same block. And this Euro section I have here is a very good example. And it may not jump at you immediately what it means. But if I show you where it starts from, you will see that this text here at the bottom, it's in the same box as the rest. You can see that container happening like so. Let me draw that for us and you can see everything is nice in this container as well as the social media there at the top. This one though, you will see that here you have the width for the main parts and then for a little bit of extra social proof and extra information like your contact detail, you will see that is in a full width section. With one of the latest updates in Brizzy, you can do this now very easily. Let me show you how to do that. We go back into Brizzy and let's just have a quick look at where it all starts. You start by bringing in a block and then you put in your content like I did here. And you can see I have two columns at the top of these social media icons. Then I have two columns below that, my graphic element here on the left, and then my text with a call to action button here on the right. And then below that, I have again two columns to separate these two elements. My settings is as is as out of the box. If I go to the block, you will see it's width is set to boxed and then I just drop in my column containers. To get it full width, we need to set it to full width. I'm going to duplicate this block so we can leave the original. And what I like to do is just bring in an empty block for separation. Now that we have this one, let's work our magic. The first thing you have to do, the moment you want full width of any contents within a block is you have to put the entire block on full width. That is just how it's going to work. Let's do that. Go to the block settings and next to width, you select full. Okay, so what we have here at the top is our social media and we're okay with that. That's what we want. We want that full width as well as these two here at the bottom. We want that full width as well. So we need to bring these two and constrain it to the original setting. That we're going to do by bringing in the row element. Go to add elements and then at the top under the grids, we grab row and we just drag it on top of this one. You can see there's by default two columns. Then I'll go to the graphic element, grab the column and I'll drag it in between those two. Go to do the same for this one all the way to the right and I'll drag it. And you can see immediately we're on the right path, but I don't want these columns, that's also not good. It's also going to create a load of issues on different monitor resolutions. So what I'll do is right click, delete, right click, delete. And now you're giving me a slow clap because boy, we're back where we started. But let's put the magic in the row element. Go to the settings of the row element and that you find here on this obscure little icon. Top left, click it and go to settings. And here we start with width. When Brizzy started with the row element, we had this percentage and that meant that you could bring it down to a manageable size. But the problem is you really don't know how many pixels this is. And usually for containers or content containers, the canvas for the content, we do have a specific pixel in mind. And that, mm, that differs from page builder to page builder and preference to preference but it ranges between 1,100 to 1,200. In Brizzy, by default, the container width, this one up here, for the block is set to 1,700. If I go to the width, this is the original one, and I put it on pixels, I'll just drag it all the way to the right, you're going to see it stops at 1,170. That is our preferred width for canvas content. You can make it more simply by typing in the value you want. So if I want 1,500, I can type it in and will give it to me. So you are not restricted to the 1,170, but that is what will look good on laptops and will still make the content look good on big monitors. So remember, that is the setting in Brizzy. I know many others use 1140, 1120, and some prefer 1,200. Now we go back here, we go to our row, settings and now we have a problem is this 1170 and it doesn't matter because what's going to happen is that if someone on a laptop or on a big resolution monitor view this 
it's going to adjust according to the percentage. So it may actually look really bad. So percentage doesn't work. And that's why we brought in the option to put it on pixels. And now you simply have to type in the 1170 or your preferred width for this. And we have achieved that. And there we go. We have mixed content now. We have the social media icons here at the top. We have some text here at the bottom. They stretch full width. And then we have our restraint content here in the middle. Let's clean it up a bit. I'll reduce the padding at the top and I'll reduce the padding here. And I'll add a little bit more space on the left and the right of the block just for a little bit more separation. I'll go to the block settings and then for padding at the sides, I'll bring it into 25. And we've really actually created something pretty nice already here. I can also go add a little bit more separation. I'll go to the margins of the row and just add another 25 at the top and the bottom to bring in a little bit more distance between the main content and those elements. This looks good, but I do think that it's a little bit unbalanced. I've placed the spacer here just to control this column, but what I'll do, I'll delete it and let's bring in an image and we'll put our logo here. I'm currently in Brizzy Cloud. This works exactly the same in Brizzy WordPress as well. Let's bring in our image and this is our logo and I will put the logo for us on digital original select it and I'll drag it let's make it a little bit bigger and put it all the way to the left that design element is a little bit let me just have a look quickly at our image for our background and I'll drag that up or down let's drag it up there we go so I'll put the focus at the top so that this logo doesn't overlap with that design element and make it look a little bit cluttered. Whoa, that was nicely done. Now there are many use cases where you may want to have this kind of mixed with content in the same block. The reason you want it in the same block is because you probably have a uniform background like this. You want the same background, then you can do this. Hope this was useful. For more like this, remember to subscribe here to YouTube to stay up to date with the latest that is going on in the world of Brizzy. Big things still coming your way, so check back regularly. Go visit us at brizzy.io and I'll see you in the next video.